the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we are apart now, but we will be ag uh, together again next week, which is very good news. But as we come together, we are celebrating what the bishops have asked us uh, to celebrate, which is the protection of life from beginning of, uh, of its beginning stages and all the way to natural death. So we are celebrating life today. So as we come before the Lord, let us call to mind our sins, but also call to mind God's never failing mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who shows a Father's care for all, grant in your mercy that the members of the human race to whom you have given a single origin may form in peace a single family and always be united by a fraternal spirit. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the word of God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Kindness and truth shall meet. Kindness, Kindness and, and truth, truth shall, shall meet. meet. Show us, O God, your mercy and grant us your salvation. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Kindness, Kindness and, and truth, truth shall meet. meet. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Kindness, Kindness and, and truth, truth shall meet. meet. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Kindness and, and truth, truth shall meet. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went up the mountain and summoned those whom he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, that they might be with him, and he might send them forth to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. He appointed the twelve, Simon, whom he named Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, whom he named Boanerges, that is, sons of thunder. Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Please be seated. So on this day, the bishops have asked us um, to celebrate life. And life is something that is very holy. We know that our God made living beings and he made living human beings. He made Adam and Eve. He made uh, people male and female, and he saw that it was very good. We hear that in Genesis. But we also know that God made people holy because Jesus himself decided before he was a human, he was the word of God spoken by God always coming from God, and he decided to take on our human nature, flesh and blood, just like we have. And he grew up. He was a little boy. He was a baby. He was a taller boy. He became an adolescent. He grew into a man. He did everything that we do except sin. And his life was holy and he was proud to be called a human being. And we Catholics believe that life is holy and good all the way from unborn children all the way until a natural death. And that is what the bishops have asked us to celebrate today. Now, in our first reading, Paul writes to the Philippians, the people in Philippi, and he asks them to remember some things. And I want you to think of this thing as life. He wants us to remember that life is holy and he names it in different ways. Listen to these adjectives describing words, true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, gracious, excellent, worthy of praise. My brothers and sisters, this is our life. Life, you know, some people think of it as just getting up in the morning and seeing what's going to happen. But that's not how Catholics look at life. We look at life as a gift to us, as God's gift to us to see what we can make of it. And so when we get up in the morning, we thank God. That should be the first thing that happens. We should thank God for our life. We should actually say the words, thank you God for this day and for my life. And if that is not your prayer, it's time to make it your prayer. And then we thank God for other things like our food when we say grace, or for the Eucharist when we pray the Eucharistic prayer, but we should be thanking God all day long. Our lives should be ones of gratitude, for life is holy and we want to be thankful for it. And so my friends, as we go through the day, let us remember not so many the prayer, uh, the please prayers, we say those a lot, God give me this, God give me that, please. But let us remember the thank you prayers. And at the top of the list, let us remember to thank God for life. Not only our life, but the lives of our brothers and sisters, the lives of our parents, the lives of those people we love, the lives of our friends, and the lives of everyone, even the people you don't like. Remember, they have life and it is holy too. So, on this day, when we are called to remember the holiness of life, let us give thanks to God for all that is holy, especially life. Together let us stand and bring our prayers before our loving God.
for church leaders that they remain ever open to the workings and wisdom of the Spirit in guiding the people of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of the United States and their leaders, that we may engage in a spirit of cooperation, tranquility, and life-giving respect for one another. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that we will respond with generous hearts when called to serve the poor and needy. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have heeded the call to ordained ministry, and for all who minister to the sick, that they will know our love and encouragement. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our school community, those on our St. Michael's prayer list, and for our alumni, that we may all follow the light of faith in our lives and be an example to all of God's goodness. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the faithful, that we stridently uphold respect for human life from conception to natural death, striving to protect the unborn and giving support to expectant mothers. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are ill, that they regain their health. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they be raised up to the glory of God's kingdom. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Strong and life-giving God, we thank you for the gift of life, and we ask you that you bless us and hear our prayers as we enjoy the gifts that you give us. Hear now what we ask of you and grant it according to your will, for we ask through Christ our Lord. Please be seated while I pre prepare the altar. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands may become for us the bread of life. in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands may become our spiritual drink. Please stand and pray, brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice, yours and mine, may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, offered under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity, strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord among all your children, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death 
and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert and John and Ramon, our bishops, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I not worthy that you should enter under my word. roof, but Lord, only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
The Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us pray to St. Michael. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.